this time. Questions and discussions. I'll start the discussion, I guess. I know I talked with you about this last month, but all of you should have this. this I just put this in front of you a little bit ago. And the, the two, two things in green are what we are amending. So I'll go through that with you. Um, originally on our fall budget, our total budget of disperses and transfers was seven million four hundred and ten thousand, and our necessary cash reserve is one million eight hundred forty thousand. So uh, you can tell by those green highlights, I we've taken a million from the necessary cash reserve and put it in the total budget of disbursements and transfers for this year. We don't plan on spending that million. It'll still be cash but uh, it'll allow us to have some flexibility now the next two years because they're going to base our next two years budget off of that off of that number so it's going to give us a little flexibility i don't think we'll do anything different in the next two years than we've done previously i think we've always been pretty modest with our budget growth and, but it at least allows us an opportunity should we have something where we would need to to pay for it for example we didn't realize this year we were going to buy six buses either last May or when this time of year we didn't realize so we had the flexibility in our budget to allow us to do that uh, if we didn't do this we would, we would lose some of that flexibility that we have built up over the years so that's the explanation as best as I can give it for everyone any questions from the public this hearing ending at 7.33 p.m. The hearing is now closed. Which now takes us into the 7.33 uh, recognizing our Board of Education meeting, Fillmore Central, high May, 11, May 9th, 2011. Recognize the and follow the open meetings law and location of the poster right over there. Uh, call to order at 7.33. Roll call. Roll call. Flight one. Yes. None. Absent. Oshnery. Yes. Shock up. Yes. Bill Mayer. Yes. Fountain. Yes. Jacobson. Absent. Feinschmidt. Yes. Moe. Yes. We declare this a or members absent or we get to declare, we'll declare this a legal meeting that this regular meeting of May 9, 2011 be declared a legal meeting. Roll call. I'll make a motion. Motion, motion I'm sorry. I jumped in. Right one. Yes. Chuck off? Yes. None absent. Oshner? Yes. Delmeyer? Yes. Donovan? Yes. Jacobson absent. Kleinschmidt? Yes. Lowe? Yes. <coughs> this time, excuse ab absences. So I'll move. Second one or two. Got to move. Then. Yes. Then a second. That the board excuse the absences of. Sherry Nunn and Roger Jacobson. Questions? Roll call. Don? Yes. Delmer? Yes. Oshner? Yes. Shokov? Yes. Jacobson? Absent. Feinschmidt? Yes. Whitewine? Yes. Nunn? Absent. Lowly? Yes. Okay. We're up to welcome uh, the visitors and public input at this time, recognition of recognizing any uh, correspondence. Do we have anything else? I didn't, I didn't get any correspondence, so I did not either. Anybody have anything at this time? Okay. We'll move on then to our comments from our principals. Mr. Klein, do you want to start? <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. We, uh, 
we, we've taken a lot of tests over the course of the spring and um, kind of hard to keep track of, um, especially when you even when you're involved in them. And you may not remember, but uh, I talked to you in March about how uh, our sixth grade and eighth grade students uh, completed the Iowa test of basic skills. Uh, testing, it's nice in this day and age, but we get a pretty quick turnaround on those results and that we always have them in hand before the end of the school year, it seems like. Uh, so I just included uh, a few of the tests. Those aren't all of the tests, but those are, you know, the ones that we, we really pull out to look, look at, those five. Um, and so I just wanted to share some of those results with you. And, um, you get the opportunity to look at these a couple of times over the course of the year. So. I uh, didn't, uh, didn't know if you had any questions on any of the, the Iowa tests. I had a question, Mark. Why do, why do we take the Iowa test here in Nebraska? Is it standardized across the nation? or? Well, um, we, we have to take so many assessments, and, and so this is one of them that we've, we've selected. Uh, the state of Nebraska, the Department of Ed, has a short list of assessments that they recommend, and the Iowa test is, is one of them. Um, we started taking it a number of years ago, as far as I can tell, 10, 12 years ago, they, they were taking them. And so we've, uh, we've continued doing it because we have a, a large supply of data. Um, but I think back when, my, this is only guess, my guess is that when we started taking it, I mean, the Iowa test is one of the more, one of the more popular, one of the more reliable tests. It's, it's easy to get a hold of. Uh, it's scored quickly. It's not all that expensive, and a lot of other schools in the Midwest use it, so it, it makes it fairly easy for us to compare our performance to, to other schools. And so it's it's one of the more common tests, and it's easy to get a hold of. So I, I imagine that's probably why we yeah. I'm sorry, I wonder. We live in Nebraska. I didn't know if there was. You, you answered that. It's a Midwestern. Yeah. <laughs> Nebraska has their tests, but those are statewide tests um, just for Nebraska schools. So. Um, that's, that's a good question. Um, any other questions on, on those test results? Um, overall, uh, you know, I think I'm fairly, fairly pleased, nothing too alarming. Um, just one year, you, you have to look at several years combined, but I think over the past several years, past three, four, five years, we've made some significant progress, and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So, uh, in terms of activities, uh, we, are, we are extremely busy with a lot of things in and out of the classroom. Uh, this time of year. Uh, coming up Monday, uh, May 16th, the fifth graders do their annual States Fair. That's in the gym and it's from 12.30 to 2.30, so uh, visitors, community members are welcome to come. So if you, if you have a free moment, feel free to, to come up and uh, the kids do a nice job and uh, they put a lot of work into it, so it'd be nice to see you there if you have a chance. Um, uh, second to last day of school on Wednesday, May, 18th, there's a talent show, and, and sometimes parents and community members come to that. More than welcome to attend if, if you'd like. Uh, of course, the eighth grade graduation is at 10 o'clock on the 19th. Again, you're all uh, invited um, to that. One of the things that um, did not get on, uh, on the report, didn't have a chance to get it on, was uh, our students went to uh, math contests at Thayer Central uh, last week and won uh, the math contest. Um, maybe the second or third year in a row, I think, that, uh, that we won that. So I uh, wanted to share that information with you. Uh, Triple E endorsement, the second year of the program, we had four students who successfully uh, made it through and completed the program, and those are the students there in the two areas uh, that they chose. Um, maybe talk amongst yourselves and, and relay some information to Mr. Norvell, but I would consider inviting, uh, there are a couple of uh, a couple of the, the, the two boys I thought had some really nice uh, science projects that I thought really seemed to kind of typify what the program represents. And uh, you know, if the meeting starts at 7:30 next month, maybe if uh, if I had them here at 6:30 or 7 o'clock, just so you could look at their projects or ask them some questions, I'd be happy to invite them here before the meeting if if you'd like. Um, maybe just let Mr. Morgan know what what your thoughts are on that. Um, track is over. Um, boys and girls have both had very nice seasons. Uh, they concluded the season with the conference track meet uh, on Saturday. 
uh, at uh, Thayer Central, I believe, and both <coughs> boys and girls won their meets. So, um, again, um, congratulations all around, the athletes and the coaches. Uh, both did a nice job. Uh, students of the month are there, and it is the end of the year, and uh, again, I just feel it's nice to, it's nice to thank the board for, for your work and for your support, so I appreciate that. Uh, any questions on, on the report? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Rose, you look please. Mine is pretty heavy right now with the graduation and graduation week coming up. Um, did you have a chance to take a look at the list of the students that you will be presenting to? Are there any changes that need to be made or are you fine with playing and it's fine enough? Okay. When we get together on Saturday, we'll go ahead and line you up in a chair that you'll sit at. We'll find the parents up close to the front so that you have a better view of the audience. That'll be kind of uh, students graduating. Um, see, the preface is this Friday. Normally, it's been a practice that you are a parent of graduating. Senior, you get first dibs in speaking. <laughs> my phone has been ringing off the hook for you guys to follow me. But I guess my question tonight is what do you three like? Or Jim, Randy. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, Randy, I got here last year. The year before. <laughs> what needs to be said? Just what am I saying? Yeah, what are we saying? It is, it's very short. I'm selling these people with barking. And, and Dave, I think Dennis, you've even spoken in the past, basically is to congratulate them. Um, Use the kiss method. Keep it short and simple. <laughs> Wish them a lot. Wish them a lot. Short and simple. Uh, I don't care. I mean, we've had... Uh, this is Randy's last chance. It's Mark Allen's chance. He didn't have a chance. I got another okay. chance. Okay, <laughs> so Randy, you're going to talk. Okay, that'd be great. I mean, you can do it. So many guys here. I'm not here to do it. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> and well, I'll be the... the I'll be the... I'll be... What's your phone number, Randy? Make sure you're here. So we can call you. I'm not giving it a public speech. Yeah. I've invited you with a schedule against your class. It's also with some numbers. Gives you an idea as to uh, what classes. You also have a outline as to what the program will look like. Come on Saturday, we will meet in the boardroom at 1 20. Try to give you time for flowers, talk a little bit, uh, slide the throat, show them. We will have the gym set up a little differently than last year. We will still enter in the north doors. But you will come across in front of the stage. So what we, we talk about. We're just gonna sit out in the bleachers though to watch the video. Yeah. And then we'll move up to our chairs when we sit in the bleachers, stand along that side. Okay. Anyway. Questions about any of the other material that was presented here? Any questions about graduation this week? You don't have to worry about the stairs this year? Oh now, well, they all come. <laughs> they all come. I have a question about the letter to Eric. Grimes. You met with both Mr. Terry. Grimes. Yeah, Terry and Eric both. Um, what were the outlined items? Um, basically, Terry and I, or Eric and I, just sat down and talked about bringing the program or having the program for taking it. Eric suggested that we go ahead, that him and I work together, coming up with the speaker, that we ask for the um, speech somewhere between two and four weeks before. Eric said four, I said two, I think was sufficient. And that we could screen this speech. Eric suggested a four week before yeah, the speaker comes speech. Yeah. So I talked to Eric, and this wasn't at all, but he said he talked about, um, Terry talked to you, and he said this was all new to him. That, and the American Legion has not decided to have a program here. It's up to the yeah. whole group, not just Eric. I, and that's what he said. And that's why I put together the letter, because I think it was the first Sunday and the first Friday or Saturday the two meetings were held for the month. Is that correct, Sherry? I don't know when you met. I just know that the result of it was not at all what's in this letter. He was unhappy. 
I was. 